All right, everyone, welcome to the Total RNG. My name is Josh Richardson. I'm here with CJ Collins and Ty Wynn. We are the guys who run Charlotte Esports. Um, Ty is our general manager, and me and CJ are the managing partners. Um, this is our first podcast, first one ever. Uh, we're excited to be bringing it to you guys. Uh, we've been talking about doing it for a while and just haven't got around to it. We finally have been able to get around to it. Um, so I'll let these guys talk a little bit, bit about um, themselves, introduce themselves, and then we'll get into it. So, Ty, if you want to give us a start, give us your name, what you're interested in, all the fun stuff. Um, Not much to talk about. Uh, it's Ty Wynn, 22 years old, uh, going to school for computer science. Um, I didn't know that was your major. That's awesome. Yeah, uh, com sci, uh, and uh, hopefully esports will be able to take me out of that. So <laughs> hopefully, I can get out of doing my degree. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and just um, just not use. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, hopefully, I can just save a couple thousand dollars and and bail. Yes. But um. No, that's about it. Uh, yeah, that's cool. That's about it. CJ, uh, you want to well, take over? Yeah, I'm CJ Collins, CLT Pathfinder. Uh, I ran into these two chuckleheads at a Call of Duty event, and just fell in love and never left. So I'm <laughs> here, and we're just hanging out as brothers now, and it's it's been awesome. I think over the last couple of months, like. I've gotten to know both of you a little bit more and even all our staff just a little bit more. And, and the more and more I do, the more and more it makes me feel like at home with everybody. Yeah. Uh, just because we have such a great group of people and like the fact that like we all work together and are really good at different stuff. Like nobody's really good at like everything. So everyone's really good in kind of their lane and they do stuff to kind of further the business every day in their, in their little spots, which I think is probably yeah. the, one of the coolest things about us. Yeah, it seems like every time that we do an event, our honestly, our staff gets better and better. And it's true. Uh, it's just crazy. I mean, going from pretty much where we started from to where we're now is, I mean, it's light years so of difference. So what, what, give give like the the viewers like what where it started, what the deal was, Josh. Like why why are we here? How did it start? Kind of. Thing. Oh, okay. So where we started, this is a fun one. Uh, me and Ty <laughs> were sitting at drill. Uh, we're uh, just so everyone knows, all three of us are in the army. As this is being recorded, we are all still in. Uh, hopefully, in the next months, few months, some things will be changing. I'll be getting out. I know Ty is getting out this year. Um, CJ, I'm never getting out. Yeah, I'm CJ never getting out. Never getting I'm going to stay in forever. He's staying in forever. <laughs> um, but um, so last year, actually, October, me and, and Ty were, were talking at Drill and – you know, October I'll, 2018. So when you're watching this in 2014, this is how it all began. Well, if you watched in 2014 – you're going back in time and you need to tell me how to do it so that I can not figure out how to avoid signing up for the army in the first place. But, um, <laughs> so the good news is out of that, um, me and Ty were sitting around and just talking, throwing some ideas around about, you know, esports and, um, you know, just talking about some of the stuff that's going on. I was like, you know what, man, let's just, let's just make an esports organization. I was like, where I live in Charlotte, you know, there isn't a lot going on esports wise. Um, you know, we don't anymore. Have, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there wasn't anything going on really. And we were basically like, well, let's just start it. So I came back down because I live here in Charlotte. I drive roughly five, six hours just to get to drill in Virginia where Ty lives. So I came back down here to Charlotte and uh, looked around, started um, contacting some people. Um, I was like, hey, look, I'm looking to start this esports organization. Uh, would you be willing to like host events at your place? Because there's a land center here. That's the first place that I, I contacted. Is and, it Command uh, Post? Yeah, Command Post. And yeah. Tim, who yeah. runs it, was very open to the idea. He's like, hey, yeah. that sounds awesome. Come on by. So I started talking to him. We got some stuff in the works and started doing some um, smaller tournaments. Uh, Fortnite tournaments is what we started out doing. Our very first event actually wasn't even a tournament. It was a meet and greet where people just came out. Um, Jets Pizza brought uh gave us uh, a bunch of pizza uh we had people come out just meet us ask us more about we get filled them in on you know what our plans were and that's where it all started and from there we started doing small tournaments like was that Fortnite. like was there like two or three people that showed up or was it, like a lot uh we probably had what 15 to 20 people oh yeah. remember josh i wasn't there for that event remember yeah it was i like, wasn't there for the meeting green yeah, yeah it was like 15 to 20 people um that came out so it was i mean for a good first event for not even doing a tournament i was 
Yeah, dude. Excited. Just like people come. I've, I'm surprised anybody showed up, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, all you gotta do is say the free pizza, and people show up. Um, but yeah, we we went ahead and did that um, and started doing tournaments. And the Fortnite tournaments were a huge hit. Uh, everyone was all about it. Um, and then from there, I started contacting the bigger uh, convention uh, that that are ran at least in the Carolinas. Maybe not so much Charlotte. Because Charlotte doesn't have anything or didn't have anything at the time. So I had to kind of look outside of Charlotte. Still in North Carolina. So I contacted Carolina Games Summit. And Michael, who runs that, was like, hey, we, you guys do tournaments. Can you run a Call of Duty tournament? In all honesty, me and Ty have never touched. I mean, we have touched Call of Duty way back in the day. But, like, not recently. And we were like, yeah, sure, whatever. And I was like, Ty, I don't know anything about this. So Yeah, I don't. I don't think Josh briefed me, and uh, he was like, hey, we're going to this event. I was like, cool, whatever. And then uh, <laughs> he was like, hey, so anyway, uh, you play Call of Duty? I was like, oh, yeah, Black Ops 1. Love Black Ops. <laughs> so much fun. I used to play it on Xbox 360. And then Josh was like, well, great. Anyways, here's the brackets. It's on PS4, and it's, uh, what was it, Black Ops uh, 4? Yeah, it was, yeah, yeah, Black Ops 4. Yeah. Um, and that was a fun one because we had a lot of issues with the PlayStations we didn't know we'd have. Neither of us played yeah. on PlayStation, first of all. So yeah. we had to figure that out. Um, it was basically like we got there and Michael had them plugged in and was like, all right, you guys set them up and do everything. And we were like, uh. Uh, what? Yeah, well, all the teams, sh- you guys started showing up. This is before CJ came on. He came with yeah, so his for, team. For- yeah, so I actually enrolled to play in a tournament because I was playing with the Army esports team, and I was like, I just want to play in a tournament. And it was only like a four-hour drive for a lot of us and two-hour drive for some for Bragg. So we just kind of showed up at this tournament. and had It was weird because it was like cosplay-esque, you know? You had like all the different games, the fighting community and the League of Legends. And like Call of Duty is so out of place with some of those games because they're so different. Uh, so I just showed up and was like, let's let's play, let's figure it out. And I kind of just fell in love with the atmosphere, and that was the first land I'd ever been to. Me that, too. Was first, that was the first land that we really ever ran, so yeah. <laughs> it worked out great. But we, I'm surprised you got Blake and Jason to show up. Like, Oh, they came out to our Fortnite tournaments, and our Fortnite tournaments were pretty good. We had good f- turnout for that. We ran them well. They just showed up to play, or like they wanted to help, or what? Uh, no, they emailed me first, and they oh, okay. wanted to um, help out and get involved, so I had them come out to a Fortnite tournament. Um, and help us with that. They really liked it. So I was like, hey, you guys, are, come on board. Let's go. So we all yeah. packed up, went to Goldsboro. Um, we basically, <laughs> it was really funny because we we didn't know any of the rules for CWL. I didn't even know what CWL was. Oh, that's um, funny. Because I'm not a Call of Duty guy. I am a <laughs> Rocket League, you know, a MOBA. Dude, you um, said that at the tournament too. You're like, yeah, I don't know anything about Call of Duty. I'm just here to... Yeah, yeah, I I, I originally told uh, Michael that I wanted to do Rocket League. I wanted to run that tournament, but he already had someone doing it, so I couldn't. So he was like, no, you just run the Call of Duty. So I I learned a lot in that first one from the captains because we were like, hey, we brought all the captains together. We're like, we don't really know the CWL rules, so the captains, you guys can decide on what you – we're trying to act like we knew what we were saying. Like, let's have the captains work it out between you guys. Um, Just let us know what you guys decide. Yep. Let us know what you decide. We'll we'll do the rest, uh, which was literally just moving things in the bracket. Okay, this team was going here. Yeah. Um, so, Me and Charles so, were like, "What are these guys doing? They're so lost. They have no clue what Call of Duty is." Yeah. Uh, so first funny, time dude. I use uh, Challenge. Uh, oh really? You never heard Challenge first. before that? Oh wow. Nope, That's never. Crap. Uh, and then uh, I was just trying to freestyle, but no. Huge shout out to uh, Blake and. Uh, Blake and Jason Edwards. Yeah. Literally, if they weren't there, it would have been a complete disaster. I probably would have bailed. <laughs> like yeah. peace. But but no, like the thing is like they don't play PS4 either. And I don't think they're um I don't think uh they're familiar with Call of Duty either. Yeah. But literally they just got they just had like that that like go get them attitude and like we re- we really just like pulled it out of thin air. And it was like I, I thank them every time because I literally could not do anything without them. Like, they're yeah. literally, they get it done every time. And I feel bad when I complain because I, I don't think I've ever heard them complain. No. But I think I complain enough for the three of us. Um, that was also yeah, they, <laughs> the same day that there was food for everyone, and we didn't know that. Mm. So we went all yeah. day, we went all day yeah. without eating. What? In the food truck or what? Yeah. Uh, no, there's a food truck, but we didn't have time. 
was the problem. Uh, yeah. Everybody was just. I mean, at least I was only like a what a sixteen hour work day, so it wasn't too long. Yeah, that tournament ended earlier than any of our other tournaments. Yeah, it really did. There were it was only like seven or eight teams. It wasn't many. Yeah, Yeah, I'm sorry. But the double elimination for that was like it felt forever because I played all the way through the losers bracket and sat there for like five (laughs) hours. Well, you guys gave us some of the best footage that we still have. Oh, that's true. We yeah, still have it. I'm waiting. I'm waiting to make a montage of all that type of stuff. I actually told Jabin and Jason at our last tournament that, uh, hey, they have here. those videos still. I have. They them. have them. I have them. Oh, you have them in a folder. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. hell yeah, that, that's awesome. Yeah, that'll be sweet. If you actually yeah. looked on our Facebook before we changed the cover, when I just did the Facebook uh, cover, in the background where it's like a bunch of people jumping up and screaming, that's actually you guys. I I took a screenshot of when you guys like won and jumped up, and I faded it out to where it was like half really transparent. But if you look, you can see you in there. You're right in the middle of the picture, like yelling. Oh, and guess who's on the other side of you? Natra or Jetta. Jetta, <laughs> Jetta, Jetta with his head down. The one time, the yep. one time I'll ever be Jetta. I guess I beat Jetta. No, we lost to Jetta in the next the next pack. Yeah, it was uh, it was a fun one, but um, you know, I guess going into you know, then we went on to do playthrough, which was a great success. But uh, you know, then we <laughs> we went on to do um, our own tournament. Um, yeah. If you guys want to go in, tell us tell us from your guys' perspective how our tournament ran. But <laughs> Ty, you got it. I guess I'll start with like the origins of it. Like I. So after playthrough, I was thinking to myself, like, oh, crap, like, we need another big tournament. We need a tournament that, like, puts us on the map a little bit more so people will respect us and just does well on the stream and for the players and the fans like it. Like, everybody's just on board and they're like, oh, CLT is the real deal. So I thought to myself, okay, how can we do this? So I was thinking about how to get equipment. And I knew you guys had talked to Michael, and I didn't know what that relationship work, work looked like. So... I just kept talking to Michael. I talked to him like once a week on the phone for one or two hours. We just t- chat about all kinds of random stuff. And then eventually I was like, dude, I, can I rent your equipment? Like, let me just use it. And then we went through like this period where we were like looking for a venue. Remember when we talked to uh, Dwayne from Sports Connection? And he charged, he wanted to charge like $4,000 oh to use gosh. his venue with like 16 PlayStations in it. <laughs> that was ridiculous. I, yeah, because I was he like, had someone reach out to me about afterwards yeah. trying to get us to come. And I'm like, no, I'm not. Nah, dude. Because it, it was like, dude, like, we put up the prize pool for that. And we, you know, put all the snacks no, in there. No, no, like, disclaimer. Hold on, hold on. Disclaimer. Everyone needs to know, CJ, being the great guy he is, was the one who put up the prize pool. Because he wanted this. I want all the Call of Duty fans that have been <laughs> blowing up our Twitter before and after, asking all this stuff, to realize that CJ took y'all on his back and carried you and made that happen. So, first of all, round of applause for CJ for making that happen. Thank you, thank you. But, uh, no, for real, CJ is the one that really made that happen. Just for anyone watching, he is the Call of Duty master. I did it for y'all. I did it for CLT Esports, if anything. like, Because I, I see, like, I wanted an event to put us on the map. And I think it did, honestly. It did oh, exactly uh, what we needed it to. Well, you know, going in from there, I can tell you that, yeah, we'll get pa- – Oh, everyone, Ava, Ava, wave. Say hey to everyone. Hey, we'll, Ava, we'll get paper. Uh, hey, we'll get paper chat. after, okay? We'll get paper after. So also baby everyone, shade if anybody's wondering baby yeah, shade yeah. right there she pops in on my stream from time to time too um, <laughs> but if in, in all honesty out of this event that we had I'll give some quick numbers for everyone so the event took a full day of setting up well a full afternoon of setting up the night before um, then the next morning everyone was there by eight o'clock except for me because I forgot the table throw and had to turn around halfway <laughs> so I made it there by eight forty-five. Um, but it was an all-day event Saturday. I mean, we, I, I didn't get home till 2 in the morning. I know those guys, you guys were still there when I left, but I mean, everything was packed. But people didn't get home between 1 and 2. So we were there from yeah. 8 in the morning to 1 or 2 o'clock uh, in the morning. So, you know, t- with that in consideration, the numbers we had were amazing. For a first event, we peaked at Twitch at 350 people um, watching the tournament. We had we averaged about two. Dude, I look at the analytics. It's 409. We had 409 viewers. Oh, I stand corrected. 409 viewers. Um, we were averaging anywhere between 250, 275 viewers, just on average. Um, yeah. But when it's, it's the farther we got into the games, semifinals, uh, finals, stuff like that, um, we noticed that the the numbers were a lot higher. I mean, as the night yeah. went on, they dropped, but it, it definitely got a lot higher. Um, yeah. We had over 100 people there. 
because you figure we had 60 people the teams. Yeah, 60 people just there for the teams, plus like, viewers, plus people working. It was over 100 people. Damn, I, I didn't even notice. But it was hot and smelly in there, too. It was nasty. No, no, it was hot and, shower. hot and smelly uh, until the first rounders were knocked out. And we realized <laughs> that a lot of those, who, whoever, if you guys are watching this, you're on those first teams that got knocked out. Someone on your team, we're going to be selling deodorant at our next event. You guys come on by. <laughs> we will be get handed, I'll hand it out. I'll hand it, it out. I mean, in all fairness, it was really hot in there. Yeah, like, it did. It, What's the weekend? Uh, that building on the weekend, since we didn't notify the building manager, uh, well, not us, but my computer career, who was awesome for letting us have the space. That's also one of our sponsors. Shout uh, out to my uh, computer real, career. Real quick, let's shout out to my computer career. They are an amazing school. I went there. I'm a graduate. They got me into IT. They understand that esports is where they want to be, and they're willing to help out. Um, so if you guys get a chance, go check them out, mycomputercareer.edu. Um, if you live here in Charlotte, feel free to stop by the campus, talk to Karen. She's the campus director. Uh, I know her very well. Um, you know, great people. And, and honestly, Dude, and we wouldn't have been able to run the event without them because exactly. they gave us the venue. You know, <laughs> yep. like... They did, and if you guys are just, I mean, like me, I, I didn't know anything. Well, I knew stuff about IT. I built computers, but I didn't know how to get into IT. There's a big difference from knowing how to do it and how to make it a career, and they help you do that. So go check them out, mycomputercareer.edu. Uh, real quick, one more plug. Web Real Simple um, is our oh. website development team. They are basically running our website for us, not the one you see now as of – the 28th of may 2019 hey. but at the end of june we should be getting a new website they've been working on it they do um they actually did help us with our new logo um help zeus us you're the man i yep. love you zeus thank you for the, the social man. media posts check him out and also check out his other company wicked reality uh vr so they're vr um i guess i guess you could say they're a mobile vr uh, they're really great. Uh, I saw them at playthrough. Was really impressed with what they have. Uh, but that being Zeus's other company, I'd love to plug them. But definitely Web Real Simple and My Computer Career. Go check them both out. Now back to what we're talking about. Um, also, if you want to be a sponsor for CLT Esports, this would be a place for you. Yes, we, your name. so the the layout that you guys are seeing now is not the layout we will have in the future. We will make it a lot better where we will have good sponsor spots and be able to plug. This is just the first podcast. Everyone knows the first ones are always the good trial. So you guys are okay. seeing what could happen. Good to know. The, in the beginning, there yes. was Josh, Ty, and TJ. <gasps> well, really just Josh and Ty, and yeah. I showed up. Right? And then me playing Splitgate all the time. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> um, but – no, for real, my computer career really came through. Um, I mean, I don't think we could have asked for a better venue. Uh, I mean, we literally had, a, what, a month to figure out where we're going to put this venue. And my computer career was like, hey, let's do it. So they were all. On top of that, the venue was super slick. Yeah. It was, yeah. actually. Yeah. It, like, I walked in, I was like, dang, this is. This nice. Is nice. Like, I like where the streaming, like, so if you weren't there, there was a. It's kind of like this desk that the, the help desk people use for the. Uh, students that are there and it's called the flex space but it's like this desk in the corner that kind of looks out over all the monitors so we put the stream right there so the streamers kind of look out over the venue and we had a camera out on the venue and it looked super slick for the stream it did it was we'll, awesome. we'll be doing uh more events there for sure in the future that's something oh, yeah, we definitely, definitely talked about um but yeah that i mean the biggest thing is finding a good venue and we had one locked down out of nowhere so it was like boom perfect um yeah. so and i and i the great thing about all, all that, so we reached probably, you know, not probably, we reached over 500 people with that event. Um, you know, that's a pretty good number for a first event. I mean, it's a very good number for a first event. We literally made the Twitch channel a week before because I couldn't remember the login for the original Twitch channel. <laughs> so I made a new one. Uh, so you made a new one. Um, <laughs> so we made that Twitch channel a week before, and the we Dude, I was expecting. It could literally be a partner right now if we stream for seven different days and maintain viewers. Well, no, we can. Like, that's all you have to do for a partnership. Yeah, we can get that so easy. I'm what not is even... that, uh, Twitch affiliate? No, it's the, the one above affiliate. So, like, you're a partner for Twitch and not just oh. an affiliate. Because I know Blake's an affiliate now, I think. Yeah, we yeah. got a couple of affiliates. Uh, I'm an affiliate. What's up? What's up? Um... But yeah, we ha we have a lot of really cool things happening in the future too. I mean that that event right there really set the tone. A lot of people, uh, a lot of people were saying for a land that was one of the better lands they've ever been to. Um, 
I heard yeah. that. I'm not going to name drop, but some pretty some of the bigger people in the Call of Duty community were saying like me. Saying, yeah, I was saying that. I was there and I said it. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'd also like to say shout out to Sarah and Victoria. They oh, were yeah. the, the MVPs wives. behind CLT the scene. CLT babes. The CLT yes. babes. They don't were inaugur. There. This is the inaugural CLT babe. Shout out. Be- there's the CLT babe right There's there. one right there. Speaking of, hey. <laughs> Speaking of the CLT babes, they there show up. Is. Yep, the so podcast. they were the MVPs behind the scenes. They're the ones that took care of. If you needed to know where to go, you went to them. If you needed to check in, you went to them. If you needed a snack, food, anything, you went to them. And they did it without complaining because knowing girls. me, I would have complained and be like, why can't you all figure this out on your own? But they <laughs> held it together, and they were the MVPs, so – Victoria, I know you're going to watch this. Don't get a big head because I said that, but you are awesome. <laughs> so, um, But, yeah, I mean, the event, our crew, all in general, I mean, you, you could – our production team, those guys are, are ridiculous. They were everywhere yeah. we needed them to be. They had cameras I mean, ready to go. Dude, we've been saying it from the beginning. Like, the, uh, everyone at CLT is a volunteer person. Like, everyone that is affiliated with CLT in some way, whether they have a formal position or they're a volunteer or whatever, like – they're volunteers, all of them, and none of them get paid to do all the things that we're doing. So it's just awesome to see, like, the quality of content we produce with people that are just passionate about the space. Yeah, oh, my gosh. And, I mean, you couldn't have asked for – Blake and Jason, the two brothers, they are hilarious too. I mean, those dudes will make me, like, they – just even the stuff they sent us today – uh, speaking of your Halo little uh, assassination, uh, Halo turn. Oh, dude, I got. Oh, smoked. that made yeah. me laugh so hard, dude. And the stuff they were, the gifts they send, make me laugh so hard. But uh, not even that. I mean, we have Blake uh, Hawkins, who is also on the floor with them, running things. He does uh, our vlog yeah. and stuff. He was running it. I mean, and he was not. I tell you, people get out of hand. Blake, I was trying not to laugh, but Blake would be like, "You need to calm down right now. I will kick you out." And I was like, "Whoa, <laughs> where is this coming get him, from?" Blake. <laughs> yeah, I was like, "All right." Yeah, bro. I got Blake. Uh, I got Blake uh, to uh, do all the microphone stuff because I'm like, I'll be honest, I'm not a yeller. I don't scream. <laughs> I was like, Blake, you got this. He's like, I need all the team captains on the floor right now. And I'm like, thank you so much. Hell like, yeah. yeah. And then he and then he'd run off. <laughs> yeah, he was he was absolutely outstanding. I mean, I really. You know, like you said, they're all volunteers. Our layovers were done by a local guy here that volunteered to do them, and they were outstanding. Yes. Um, our casters, more volunteers. that We didn't know we had this talent in Charlotte. Well, I mean, I guess I kind of always knew there's someone like that, but they were just outstanding. Um, pretty, we, we actually picked up two people there. We had one guy. Uh, this is a shout-out for our new guy, Marino. He's been coming to our events. He bought all, he buys our shirts, all our merch as soon as it comes out. Um, he always emails me asking if we have anything open. I've been telling him no for the longest. We had an issue at the tournament. We had uh, some some discs that we needed. We needed three discs because people that had lent us discs had to leave. They got knocked out. So we yeah. were short three discs. That always yeah. happens with the COD kids, man. Yeah. They just... They, they lose, and then they want their disc back. So so Marino was like, oh, you guys need three discs? Sure, no problem. Goes out and buys three three copies of COD. 180 bucks, and just comes back like it's no big deal. And I was like, you know what, man? I've been telling you no for the longest time. You've, you've stuck it out. You've you've gone the extra mile. I was like, you're going to be a part of this. So we, we're bringing him on as event you know, event staff, which is, you know, helping out on the floor. Because we definitely still could use some help on the floor. There's a, you know, when we yeah, go to man. the bigger events and we have more than one tournament we're working on um, and, yeah. and our booth yeah. on top of that, we need someone there. And he's the perfect fit for that. So um, yeah. you know, shout out to Marino. I'll be talking to you in 30 minutes anyways. Um, but, you know, it, the, <laughs> the event was absolutely outstanding. People loved it. We had great feedback. Um, our next event, well, next event is GexCon. But yeah, our next, so... yeah, I'll let you fill them in on GexCon. Well, I don't know. So I think we're still talking about it, like what GexCon looks like for us. So we definitely want to, we have a League of Legends team and a Rocket League team for GexCon. And they are going. Um, and they're going because there's two prize pools that we're trying to compete for. And we're trying to get CLT repped a little bit. So we want to go hang out and have them. Um, I want to like root for the team. Like I want to like go to their games and be able to like, yes. you know how we were screaming for the Rocket Absolutely. League team at a uh, playthrough, dude. Like I want to go do that again in the stands. Well, just so you know, this is a three v three, and our new guy who I've who insight is recruited, Pluto playing with us. He's not. He won't be able to make it. Okay. Um, disclaimer: uh, Pluto was not signed with this. FlyQuest was loaning him to us, but oh, some okay. stuff came up with work. He actually messaged me today on Twitter. 
he can't make it. However, it, it's cool because we actually have a third player that I've tested out who David Insight and Bradford have both played with. Um, his name's Jasper, and he's here. At, he's out of Charlotte. So he's a Charlotte. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 um, I yeah, so he didn't. He wasn't able to come to this past event. He really wanted to, just couldn't make it. But he will be going to Gexcon as our third. So we have a full 3v3. And okay. one other thing, uh, Blake Hawkins will be filling in as support on our League of Legends team. What? Yeah, they've, been, they've been practicing with him. I've been keeping under wraps. Dude, is he? What? Yeah, he's been practicing. Is he nasty? What's yes. the deal, dude? He is. Low-key, he is nasty, dude. So um, that's to... awesome, dude. Yeah. That is so yeah. cool. I thought it was awesome because he's always wanted to play. He just didn't have the opportunity. But I was like, hey, man, we need a sub at least until we find a, a permanent support. You have the rank. He, he play, he's played against them. At, as a matter of fact, he played against them at playthrough with his brother Tanner and the land. Yeah, they second were second place. Right? Second place. Playing, they yeah, took but, second yeah. place. So um, huh. uh, our team captain, Avery, um, he hit us up and was like, hey, uh, you know, I'm going to can I use Blake? I was like, absolutely. So they're, they've been practicing with him. Uh, things are looking good. Um, our teams will have jerseys too. So we're going to be fresh. We're going to be official. You know, our booth, we're working on getting the banners finished. We got the table throw. I want to get a sick backdrop. Come on by the booth. We got stuff. I'd love to talk with you. I know CJ and Ty, Ty, not so much. Ty, you don't really talk to a lot of people. People always tell me, Ty, is Ty the quiet one out of the group? I'm like, I mean, not if you know him. but like, <laughs> If you know Ty, he's yeah, the, the if, funny one out of the group. Isn't yeah, he? yeah, it's all too much. <laughs> um, <laughs> Y'all talk too much. <laughs> but, like Josh went in his mouth for the whole podcast. Dude. Hey, hey, I'm hosting this one. I'm going to run it. <laughs> because when my wife gets here, I got to I gotta be quiet. <laughs> Um, but you, you know, this is when I get my esports time in because she hates, uh, she doesn't hate that I talk about it, but I talk about it too much. So I got to get it in now. You know, I, I can. feel you, dude. My wife, Sarah's always beating me up because I talk a lot. She's like, all you do is talk about, all I hear is esports, esports. I'm like, yeah, I love it. This is like, I live for this. This is great. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we're going to, we're going to have our teams there repping like CJ, like you said, it's up in the what up in the air as far as us doing it. I'm leaning towards more that we probably will, but we have to. People, you got to realize when you run an ev event, there's a lot more that goes into it than just showing up, and that's yep. the issue we got to work on. Um, yeah. But either way, CLT Esports, which if, if, if people keep asking me out that are outside of North Carolina, what does the CLT stand for? CLT people stands for Charlotte. We live in Charlotte. Charlotte Esports. That's why our logo says Charlotte. You hear us say Georgia. CLT, but it's Charlotte Esports. Um, oh, dude, I gotta, I gotta show them. Uh -oh. Show them podcast. Uh -oh. Let's see it. What could it be? I swear, if he comes out with like a blow up doll, <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be like. What's up? Okay, so if you want to be dope and awesome, like, and rep the CLT Esports brand right here, here's a shirt. It's oh, beautiful. Like it. Yes. It's, yes. We support America, all right? It was Memorial Day weekend this America. weekend. We support our fallen troops. We support troops, and we're all veteran-owned. Yes. Then check us out yep. at CLT Esports, my computer career. Real we'll simple. And then at the bottom here, your name here. Yep. This is where you go. You could be here. This could be you right there. Yep. On this podcast. So those shirts, uh, those shirts. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and do this. Um, CJ, you want to just do? We'll do a giveaway that one of those shirts. Um, if you guys are watching this on YouTube or whatever platform you're watching it, like it, uh, retweet it, whatever you got to do, comment, do all that stuff. We're gonna pick one. No, no, no. You gotta like the video on YouTube okay. and subscribe to our channel. Yes. So if you like the video and subscribe to your chat to the channel, we'll pick a winner for a shirt. Yep. So and that. We plan on doing a lot of this stuff. I mean, we swag is like a big thing. We plan on giving out a lot yeah. of swag. That's just one of the beginning I'll items. Do it in, we'll, we'll give it a week. So uh, today's the 28th. So we'll pick a winner on the 4th of June. Woohoo! Yeah. That sounds oh, good. Winner, so, chicken dinner. Yeah. Like the video, share it with your friends, yep. subscribe. Yeah, make sure when you get it, you do do all that. But um, we'll be giving that away when we are at big places like Gexcon or Playthrough, whatever. Come by the booth. You know, who knows? Maybe you'll get a free hat. Maybe you get like yeah. We love to talk to fans. So if you're yeah. out there, like you come to the events, like don't be shy. Come hey, up. and you can oh, sweet talk me. Water. You be nice and say, I'll throw a shirt at you. Oh man, thanks, man. Hey. Hey, here you go. Whoop. Um, he is a sweet talker, dude. Josh loves to give away stuff. I do. I gave away stuff to our sponsors. I was like, oh man, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, but, you know, I, I just love people. I mean, I love hearing feedback from people, how much they like it. Um, I was in a metal band, so, like, when we got done our set, I would What? Always, yeah. You, what'd you play in a metal band, dude? Do you remember that song I linked? It, it was a SoundCloud song. I oh. linked it. It's a metal song. It's in the in, in the messenger group. Scroll up. That's my band. Oh, I thought That's you were not... joking when you yeah, said... Yeah, I thought uh, you were joking. Like, singing. I don't get it. Like, what'd it's, you play? I, I was the singer. No, you weren't. You yeah. were the singer for a metal band, dude. Oh, my right. gosh. We gotta find a clip of this. Did you do any, like, concerts where we can, like, see it? Uh, live it? Actually, dude, hold on. <laughs> I'm gonna pull this up for people to see, so that because I did a screen crap capture. I'm gonna go to my profile, and I'm gonna show these people real quick in my pictures, so they can see it. Let's see. Let's go down. Everyone's seeing my whole life. It's cool. It's somewhere in here. That'll oh, be oh, like oh the, where is it? Where is it? I think I just passed. This will be like the last thing you do for the podcast. Did here. Oh, here it is. Okay, just so people know, this was an epic picture. I'm gonna pull it up for them. Everyone, can, you can see that's me right there. I'm gonna copy image. I'm gonna paste it oh, to you yeah, guys. You're beautiful. It's you. My God. Uh, let me let me pull this back up. So that's not what I wanted. Um, all right, I'm gonna post this so you guys can see it. Here you go. Paste, send. Oh. The Facebook chat or the Skype? Huh? Oh, that is not you. Are you kidding me, dude? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Dude, in another life, you were like, I'm. <laughs> yeah, dude. I was all about. <laughs> I was... <laughs> <coughs> Thank you to uh, everyone watching the podcast for going the, on that little journey with me through my Facebook to find that photo. That I had to take nice. your guys pit, your guys stuff down for a second. They got to see my whole life. So now we're we're all officially family. Um, but yeah, so. Like, as you can tell by us, we are very personable people. We're not like your normal esports or guys that run it. We don't like this, you know, we don't get dressed up in suits. Nothing wrong with getting dressed up in suits, Braxton. I'm um, talking to um, you, Bryson. Yeah, but, <laughs> yeah. No, I've seen more. I've seen more. When I oh, really? To, yeah, when I went to uh, Playthrough, there oh, was. Oh, there's some was, dude in suits? Yeah, there's like, a couple. Like, like they, coaching they, the they, team or what? Well, they weren't there long. Uh, yeah. But see, you guys didn't get to see it because CJ, you were on the verge of having a heart attack. Um, yeah, that sounds um, like me and, during tournaments. Yeah, I was pretty much over it. Um, running the, <laughs> so I had the pleasure of going around and meeting li- literally everyone in the world. It felt like um, I came back and I had a stack of cards like that big from all the people I met. But it I was think- good. So, just so you guys know, for, like, the podcast for the future, like, I think it should be us three, and we should bring on one guest, like, Bryson, or one of the staff members, or somebody else, like, yeah, bro, no, that's, people on it. That. Yeah. Well, you do a, a CLT Babes podcast. Hey, or, I, dude, like what Barstool Sports does? Yeah, where the babes visit. Yes. Well, they have their own vlog, dude, and it's awesome. Oh, what? Yeah, it's it's so, it, well, I can't say it's funny, because girls are funny, um, but, you know. <laughs> um so oh my yeah i'm gonna get a lot of hate for that one man people are gonna uh, unsub there this all the people that just subscribed just unsub that are females from watching that they're like nope um i'm not misogynistic people i love women i love women i love my wife i have a daughter so trust me um, yeah you love so much you married one exactly crazy. man you can't crazy, love them any man. more than that all right what's wrong dude you don't want to marry one I'll, I'll marry one one day. When he moves here, <laughs> when he moves here to Charlotte, man, that's what's gonna happen. Just tomorrow. I thought you were staying, dude. You said you were gonna stay in my house forever. You yeah, I just had to grab some stuff real fast. <laughs> You'll be right back. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> actually, after this, um, uh, it's actually in the car. Dude, we need a signature move to like end the podcast, like, like the like the Dragon Ball Z where they all do like the little dance. Uh. Was it the was it the, the fusion? The fusion. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> That'd be sick. Well, actually, Ty, you'd have to be in the middle and do like the. Ooh. We need it, Jaden and Jaden. You guys got to come up with something. Yeah, for real. You got We need like, like. But we got a lot of big things coming up, guys. Like I said, Gexcon. Uh, we're working on a Rocket League tournament. That's gonna be like more of a pop-up tournament, but we'll still give a little prize pull out for that. That's gonna be a fun one to come out to. Um, July is looking juicy. We're gonna call it Juicy July because we got a lot of July. things. Heading yeah. up in July. Um, I don't want to spoil anything, so I'm not going to say it. Don't say anything. But we're Juicy going outside. We're going outside 
I talked to CJ about earlier, my, probably going outside nope. traditional nope. esports. Don't say anything. Don't say anything, dude. It's, it's gonna be fun. You're it's gonna, gonna fun. you're gonna be there. Yeah, Ty, you're gonna be. There. Well, he has to be there. I, I mean, it, yeah, everyone's gotta be there. <laughs> hey, if you guys want to hear anything about specifics or whatever that we want to talk about in the podcast, just let us know. Comment below and say, hey, I want to know about this or I want to hear about this. Because um, we're more than happy to like. This is kind of an opportunity for us to just express ourselves for the fans in whatever way so you guys can be involved. So in whatever way you guys want to be involved or you want to hear us talk about a specific thing or what we feel about like the Tifu issue or optic going away or whatever, we're more than happy to talk about that stuff. We just, you yeah, know, we need you yeah. to tell us what you want. And especially people that are local, if you guys want to know questions about the local esports scene, uh, we'll answer the best of our ability. Yeah, we'll even like make a podcast for you. So we'll do one more where you can jump on, ask questions, and talk to us and we like answer them or something yes absolutely so but big shout out to everyone um i, I that's all i had uh it's been yeah, rather awesome. lengthy good. so yeah. big shout it out to 30, everyone. it's like 32 33 minutes so yeah we got solid. a good good little solid bit out of it so every week we're going to be doing this um oh. we'll be talking to everyone kind of figuring out where we're going but as for now thank you guys for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe follow whatever platform you're doing it on and we'll give you some free swag i mean i like free stuff i don't even have that shirt yet I li maybe i'm gonna like follow it and do that stuff so i can get the Dude, free that would shirt. be so messed up if i, I, Imagine if it, it I did up. like the random generator and <laughs> i wouldn't yeah. tell you i would lie to you and be like nope you don't win man Sorry. Nope, nope it was someone else but and then you do it like another time. You keep doing it. It's just my name constantly popping up. <laughs> but all right, guys. Well, we're signing off. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, until next time, we will see you guys later. Rise above. Bye.